Hello? Is the music really loud? Did I turn it down? I mean, I did turn it down. Carla, thank you for a resub. I guess I can I can put you guys on the main screen. Cause I got nothing going on in there right now. Oh my god, Nick Jr. show. <laughs> Welcome poop butt, Totoro. Sup PWBK, Elaine. Clown boy, thank you. Do you not just have Gino, thank you. Okay, guys, Gino just did some pixel art for me. What's up, Lit Memo? Yeah, Spencer is Zoomer coded. I'm Zoomer adjacent. I am. What am I technically? A millennial? What's up, T Storm? Like seeing these new names. Dairy Free Cat Lady. Hello. Y'all, I'm wondering, I guess we gotta work our way up to the weirdness, but, uh, you totally, totally a millennial. Um, I, cause I think I got tested, uh, for lactose intolerant and I don't think I am. Improv one year? You love to see it. Millennial and body zoomer in mind. No, I'm more like boomer and body. No, I, I have some zoomer tendencies. Well, I try to learn from the zoomers without becoming too much of a tested for being millennial. T Storm, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I tested a positive for being a fucking zoomer. Uh, guys, here it is. No visual trickery. This is real. Do I eat dairy or drink dairy? I can do dairy, but, uh, uh, you know, I think the, I think the body, like, like we're, we're, we've been so milk pilled as Americans, uh, that I think, uh, I don't, I don't know, like, not, not that we're not made to drink milk, like, or, like, because, I mean, I fucking love ice cream and stuff. And, like, you know, cheese is a great topping. Uh, but, you know, I, I do wonder about, like, I think I would be healthier if I didn't eat dairy. Uh... But yeah, I'm fucking excited. I'm fucking excited for this do. You become less tolerant over time. Yeah, because, I mean, as a kid, I mean, you can just straight up drink milk and, like, run a mile. They have a whole, like, bit in Jackass where it's, like, like half the half the stunt is just drinking milk. I I've, I think I think we're they're getting better at making fake cheeses. craft singles like it's chips <laughs> okay here's my thing of ice this is the remnants of an ice bag so it's all it's all tiny it's tiny ice i'm gonna prove to you that there's no there's no tricks here this is real i'm really gonna drink this first the smell test okay it smells like smells like fucking candy <laughs> creaky thank you for three months Courtesy of Manica, who is also on month three. Here we go. Here's the pour. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Okay, yeah, you, pro you probably can't hear it because I think I put on the noise like sensitive teeth gang over here. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I need to do uh, to the dentist for the first time in years. Uh. And I got my teeth x-rayed. Uh, 
and I had to go to like what it's like something something with an E how often have y'all been going to the dentist usually it's like uh not an extraction but uh it's like it's a different doctor yeah an exterminator Yeah, like it's, we've been in a pandemic. Like they were like, yeah, don't even, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna try and get like, especially now that I have one. No, it's not an orthodontist. It's a, it's an ethodontist. No, I, I they, they wrote me a letter. Let me see. Let me pull up the voicemail. In endodontist, endodontist. I mean, it sounds made up, but like. Yeah, and I mean, thank God I have insurance because, like, otherwise that's just expensive. Improv says, oh no. No, because they want to make sure that one of my back teeth is okay. Because there's, like, there's, like, dark inside, so they're like, you know, we're not throwing root canal off the table. But look. Yeah, Carla, I might. I mean, I just need to do it tomorrow. Sparkling water is just as bad as soda for your teeth. Interesting. Yeah, we should we should Google that. I mean, I believe it. I just want to like double check. I don't fucking believe you. No, I like. Also, this is going to be a weird complaint. Sorry, I'm going to let the do sit for a minute while my associates switch it out underneath. So I don't uh, complex the pulp, the tooth pulp. I hate that. I hate that sound. I hate the I hate the sound of that. Uh. Oh, I I did have braces. Um. Okay. It's it's gonna sound kind of like a hot take, but they're honestly like too. I mean, they're not too many, but they're too many. It feels like they're too many options for dentists or therapists or uh you know any kind of doctor in la so like you know you look it up and you're like god damn like i you know there's hundreds and you know i it's it, it kind of uh when you're in a smaller town you know like we had like i think we had like you know like one there like there was like one psychologist in the town i mean that's an exaggeration but you know it's like you you have less options little brassy atlas thank you for the follow oh so sorry thank you for the fucking five months sorry squishy you're you're up to no good um so yeah just kind of like the having choices i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm saying it makes things harder sometimes for me at least because when there are too many choices i'm like ah oh, like did i make the right one uh and it's kind of, I hate to say it, Carla's going to come at me, but it's kind of one of the reasons why, at, like, there's something appealing about Apple. Because, y you know, there aren't, you, you know, there are a very finite amount of options for each thing. Uh, you know, but I think there is a beauty in that. Uh, yeah, my dentist did recommend the, the end endodontist. So I just need to, I need to, I need to double down on that. Anime Gamer, what is up? We're about to, you know, you, you made it just in time. Cause here's the do. And I gotta give my, I gotta give my color review first. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pink lemonade. It's, it, it's, it looks exactly like pink lemonade. Like carbonated pink lemonade. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. It smells sickly sweet. It's pretty good. Like I, I like sorry to always be boring with these, but like they've they've been like I think the do unique flavors are good. Yeah, 
yeah, and I mean, maybe I like. So I might have I ruined I might have ruined this with the ice I use because it's already kind of watered down. But plot twist, that's how I kind of like my sodas. Uh, just a little watering down, not like a Coke. There's not really much sour in it. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen this do in stores. I got it on Instacart. I Googled do spark on Instacart and I had it delivered. Uh, yeah, this is, this is great. Uh, he likes water, he said, I, I guess, I just, I love ice. And with the price of loving ice comes the price of things being a little watered down. So maybe it's, maybe it's copium. Also, you just had a little Cleo cameo back there. Uh, so I don't even know what the flavors are supposed to be. Yeah, uh, do with the blast of raspberry lemonade. And I mean, that's honestly exactly what it tastes like. Like, they weren't lying. Oh, I forgot it has caffeine in it. Uh, yeah, I guess there's like, I, I, I don't know, like, if sours the, you know, but there's like a little lemon-esque, you know, but it's very, it's very, it's very hint of hint of raspberry it's like literally like you popped in some uh uh like a thing of the the when you spritz the uh the lemonade when you're getting the water from the fountain i had the voodoo or did i try the voodoo on here because the one i had Whatever one I had, and it was like a limited time, like mystery flavor. It the, it was not candy corn flavored. It was delicious, but like, I don't th I don't think it was. I don't think it was candy corn. It might have been last year, but I wasn't truthfully. I mean, I'm still, I'm a fake fan. I n almost I never really. Oh my god, new Zoe name just dropped. Zoe the cre- Oh, I don't want to- Okay. Because someone make an, might make an appearance in the new Jackass film. Also, Zoe. Carla tried to do our meme. That you wouldn't get it. And she sent us to a fake website. I'm so fucked up. Oh, Zoe, we're gonna have to change that Smosh video you popped up in. It's not Drake. No, if Chuck and Drake was in. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not the, so, like, I'm, I'm, a, like, like I was, I'm a fake, I'm a fake do fan. Uh... Um... I, I, I drink the Mountain Dew Kickstart, and that's about it. Oh, do I have to re I okay. Sorry, I, I... I didn't, I need, I need to remod. I need to make some remodifications. Uh, yeah, you're a uh, Schrodinger's mod. Um, Livewire, what's the one at KFC? Uh, Cause I have that one. I've had that one. Oh, is, is that easy? Mod, Zoe the creator. No, that didn't, no. Slash mod, uh, okay, I'm stupid. Uh, wait, does, did that do it? Did I freaking do it? Damn. Uh, at mod. Well, now mod's gonna get in here and kick our ass. Uh... Keep up for four years in the fire. Uh, oh, Fat Dumbers is here. I gotta try it again. I gotta try it again. It's it's still delicious.
Oh, I was just I was just saying I don't really drink Mountain Dew just the kickstart. Like all those uh you know, I bought that six pack or whatever of the flame and hot. And of the uh the gingerbread one snapped. Uh both delicious by the way, but you know, I I I don't drink I don't really I don't really crack them open. When I do settle down with the soda, it's usually in the evening. Uh, and by that time, I'm like, I don't really want caffeine. So I usually, I, I usually stick with a cream soda. Which I did want to try. I mean, I think it has caffeine, but Pepsi, <laughs> it's called Pepsi cream. Uh, yeah, I fucking love cream soda. Um, which, which of the dudes is my favorite? Hmm. What was the one? Was it the Voodoo? Because that one was really good. Oh my god! What if they did? What if they did Mountain Dew cream? <laughs> yeah, I love root beer, and the thing is, there's like lots of different root beers. Uh, what people like about cream soda? It, I didn't like it as a kid, but now. I'm cream pilled. So you're you're not wrong. Like it's it's weird. What's my favorite brand of root beer? Um There's one that starts with an A that's really good. Uh Um I don't know, it's and it's not A and W. <laughs> Uh, blue cream soda. Weird. What's up, Larson Cross? No, let me let me find the name of this. Uh, squishy. Relax. Best root beer brands. Um, I've heard good things about Dad's root beer. Papa's root beer. Abita. A beta root beer is is the one I'm thinking of. Real cane sugar. There's also yucca, vanilla, and spring water in the root beer. It's a Cajun root beer. But the one I've been wanting to try is it's called Sprecker. Uh, rich. It has a rich frothy head. Uh, there's also Oak Creek Blonde root beer. What the fuck? That sounds awesome. Hey, but it's soda important. Can root beer be? Oh, it's it. They're aged sodas. Uh, that sounds insane. Yeah, blonde barrel aged root beer. Uh, we we gotta track it down. How do you say? Is it yucca? Yeah, Virgil's is good. I think the cream soda I have is Virgil's. Oh, house made root beer. Uh, yeah, I, I, was, I guess I always thought it was Yucca. Because well, there's Yucca, Yucca Valley, a Yucca Valley. Bundaberg, Australia. Yes, I have had the Bundaberg, uh, Bundaberg. Now I'm like, oh God, am I saying everything? Uh. Uh, yeah, they're, they're that, and they have like a, it's, what is it, like a grapefruit soda or something that's really good? Uh, yeah, not your father's, uh, I know my friends love it, um, but I get not your father's and dad's root beer. I wonder, I wonder which came first. Fresca's like diet though, isn't it? Oh yeah, I read a big list of things that, uh, of like things you can't have. Oh, they make Diet Fresca. Uh, it's aspartame, that's, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know if I've had Bundaberg uh, root beer. Fresca in my in my mind is not delicious. I I would I I'd, I'd be open to trying it again. But I think I, I'm just tasting Sierra Mist in my mind. I'm tasting. Yeah, Squirt's. I think pretty sure Squirt is a grapefruit soda. Also, hilarious. Um. Oh, oh, uh, but a list of things that just, uh, like grapefruit doesn't interact with some medicines, like activated charcoal can completely ne negate some medicines. It's like, yeah, kind of, like, I wonder what else, wonder what else is doing it. Uh, but ice cubes are chilled glass from the freezer. I mean, to me, I say both. Uh, yeah, I love, I love, um, Cold, cold drinks. Aspartame makes anxiety worse. I mean, I feel like anything could too. BP meds deactivates your charcoal. Bad dumpers, thank you for passing on that gift sub or giving gifting a sub to IO9. I. Birch beer. What's birch beer? That sounds like some Harry Potter shit. I've had the the butter beer at at uh wherever Universal. It's fucking good. It's a type of root beer. I mean, I I probably would like it. Room temp to semi cold drink. No, I mean if I if I want to drink drink, like drink a lot of water, like yeah, like room temperature, like leftover from the night before, with like a little bit of melted ice in there. Yeah, oh, I'd be drinking it. Hmm. Oh, I also got the candle. Cameo. It's a nice little. I don't, I'm trying to remember if I had the hot. I think I had the hot butter beer. Uh, what? Someone. I mean, someone else can probably explain. Yeah, cream soda and butter. Oh, oh so cream soda. There you go. What does my hottest beverage take? Uh. Oh, uh, like I, I uh was eating with my friend the other day and I got a root beer and uh, and I finished it and then I put water in there and she she drank some of it. She was like, oh, there's still root beer in this. And I forget that like, like the kind of the aftertaste of stuff like in water, as long as it's like a drink I know, like if there's, if there's just been something in that cup and I don't know what it was and I taste it, I'm like, okay, disgusting. But if I have like a soda and then I drink most of it and then I... I, uh, you know, if there's like remnants of what I was drinking right before, usually like a soda or something sweet, and you just kind of get like the, to me, it's like, it's bridging the gap from when I'm drinking the soda, then I'm drinking mostly water with a little bit of soda, and then I transition to water, you know, it's a, you gotta, you gotta ease into it. Uh, so the, the scent on this, let me, let me read this. Uh, crystallized ginger, rose, tuberose, tuberose, vanilla, white woods and musk, ginger, gingember, crystally, crystallize. It says rose again. Oh, what? Oh, oh, then it's just it's fucking listing it in French. <laughs> I was like, why is it saying all this shit twice? Uh, yeah, I'm stupid. Um, yeah, crystallized ginger, rose, tuberose, vanilla, white woods, and musk. Tuberose. Yeah, good, good meme. I did not like the, the word musk. It's T U B E R O S E. What does it smell like to me? Mm 
nothing yet. I guess we just gotta let it sit. Playing very close to the face. Dude, it's like when cats, oh my god, squishy just, it's sort of a honey smell, interesting. Let that candle marinate, exactly. Uh, yeah, what is up, Miss Joe? Um, they only buy with the word musk. Yeah, musk, the word musk was, a, I mean, it was already kind of a gross word. Um... But yeah, I think it was further, further worsened. Yeah, cats, cats just love not being aware when their fur is burning. I say as I fucking was sticking my face in that. What is a, what is a musk deer? Is that a, I said a brand, is that a type of deer? <laughs> All I, all I really, this, the Bath and Body Works, what they did for Black History Month was they just like rebranded things with like vaguely problematic things. The males have fangs. Okay, I have seen those. Yeah, they're just like the goofy, like they look, they look kind of silly. Yeah, I never spent, uh, I remember my friend was obsessed with, uh, I guess they made a scent, uh, Bath and Body Works made a scent, and, uh, and it was kind of like a cult classic scent, and one, I'm trying to remember who, what company he was from, but like some big, like, perfume mogul or like, uh, not like a like an an heir to something uh uh some someone like super highbrow like design or something like that was like bath and body works like accidentally made like like a three hundred dollar fragrance with this and i guess they discontinued it but people are like still trying to like kind of recapture that scent Uh, CV Striker, thank you for 10 months. What isn't problematic that I think should be? Uh... Good question. Hmm. I might have to, I might have to, I might have to come back to that. That is a really like. What do you want to? What do you want to stigmatize? Uh, Berry licious candle. That sounds hilarious. If I hate something, it's automatically problematic. Kyler runs eight pack. What, do you remember what the scent was called? Oh, oh, the the the. Uh, the Black History Month thing. Uh, let me, I'm gonna see if I can Google it. I'm glad no one can see what I'm Googling because I'm just gonna be looking up some dumb shit. Uh, cult classic scent. I think it was Bath and Body Works. Bath and Bodies. Um. Hmm. Is it warm vanilla? I might have to text my friend. Uh, the Wadi Works discontinued. It might. It might not even be uh, Bath and Body Works. Like I could be leading myself on a whole wild goose chase. We're in vanilla sugar. It was like something, something along those lines. 
Baja Muttering, thank you for the follow. Now I'm like, I don't know if it was, it was like, maybe it was like a lotion. Um, here, I'm, that's it. I'm texting my friend. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Uh, nope. Wrong one. Uh. What was that one discontinued lotion you love? <laughs> Don't worry guys, we'll get to this. Yeah, I you really like I was looking up sent info whale poop is whale poop is you okay wait she, she got back to me already. Uh, she just wrote Lomeo. She's laughing at me. She, she's typing. She's very typing. Bath and Body Works. Okay, okay. She's fucking keeping me in suspense. Uh, let me find the name. Okay. Sorry for that fake out. <laughs> BBW candles. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta call this something else. Suspenser. Someone in someone in high school called me that. Aromatherapy sensual black currant. Beaver bum glands, dude. Good for them, man. Also, welcome Baja muttering. Sensual black currant. Uh, I think it's just called black currant. Or I, I don't know how you say that. Yeah, it's just called sensual. Uh, yeah, I will post in the Discord. Um, I want to find the guy's quote, like, like oh, like you accidentally current. It's like current. That's wild. Man, I'd really be out here not knowing shit. Buffalo Wild Wings. I, I wouldn't know a I wouldn't know a current if it hit me in the in, hit me in the freaking face. I wanna find the guy's quote. Top notes are black currant and lemon. Mid notes rosemary pumpkin. Base notes vanilla and patchouli. I don't even I don't even know what currant is. Uh, but yeah, let me let me post the let me post the link. Yeah, people are people out here like scalping it on eBay. Uh, now I'm typing. In um is is barry uh where's the discord where's the diskies posting it an off topic or i guess i could post well i guess it's a lotion it's barry adjacent hey oh it's oh, you can eat it wait it's illegal okay i'm, I'm googling this this is actually this is actually would be my night if I was streaming or not. Just googling dumb shit. Rip, R I B E S, spreading gooseberry to protect the white pine. We're getting some America lore. We're like, whoa, we can't have anything invasive here. Duh. Black currant. Uh, black currant. Sorry, it's a deciduous shrub. It is winter hardy. Yeah, we out here fucking learning. This. It looks like the berry that the the dinosaurs eat in a uh, Jurassic Park that makes them sick. Transparent. Uh, 
current events banned. It's native to Northern Europe and Asia. Okay. Rich in protein, culinary uses. Yeah, far current, current farming was banned in the early 1900s because they created white pine blister rust. It was lifted in New York State in 2003, thanks to a horticulturist. But there are still several uh, statewide bans. Or Yeehawks. Great name. Thank you for the follow. Purple Skittles used to be blackcurrant. Man. I wonder what tastes have like kind of gone away that we don't even realize did go like did go away like if there were things we tasted as kids that y you know we don't remember because one day we just like didn't have them who is who is that who is that here saying bananas used to taste different i think it was garrett the other day musk lifesavers Yeah, Kid Country Man, that's that's what someone was someone was saying that. Uh and I think it was Garrett. Um Yeah, no, I love I love learning about foods. Uh like the history of foods. And like why certain regions like use certain foods. The type of banana we know is banana, it's going to go extinct. Rose Michelle. Yeah, I think like I, I don't think anything, at least in America, that we eat, uh, any of the, the fruits rather are. Uh, I think they've been so bastardized, so they can grow like kind of wherever you know, as quickly. Uh, one second, let me text my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, she sent me a smile Amazon link. Panama something pandemic. Biodiversity. There's a banana flavor fact. Dude, I love banana Laffy Taffy and I love the Runtz banana. There are real cherries that take like fake cherry. Dude, I fucking hate the fake cherry flavor. Did the they already did the the banana? Uh, that's a spoiler. They did the they did the banana. Uh, what are those? Not what are those? Uh, uh, eater to eat it, right? Okay, okay, they did, they did do a cherry flavor? What are, okay, okay. What are the good cherry flavored things? Oh, the banana was live streamed. Cause like in my mind, I'm like, cherry is awful. Uh, Cherry snow cone, yeah, me like, Cherry Chelly Ranchers on everything. Yeah, Zoe, I'm 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 I don't know if I've tried the black cherry kickstart. Oh, I love cheer wine. Uh but cheer wine like it doesn't taste very cherry it doesn't taste berry cherry also is my mic peaking a lot because it's like constantly in the red i don't know if i need to turn it down on this no that turns down my computer volume um like even when i talk like close like this like it's not peaking it sounds okay when i do this 
mic is etching. See, I, I like fake grape flavor. Damn. A little when you're close, okay. So yeah, I wonder how I, I don't, I honestly don't know how I turn down the mic gain and like this is, that's the volume, but I want like mic gain. Mm, proper ease, advanced audio properties, sync offset volume, active monitoring. Oh, can I turn on active, wait. Hello is, okay, so I can, okay, wait. Okay, no, it's it's blowing out when I'm this close. Whoa, the monitoring is weird. I'm just gonna, just gonna stop that. Stop that for a second. Don't wanna, don't wanna be reminded of my existence. Yeah, that's too close. Whoa, 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 whoa! Back the fuck up. Um, here maybe. Microphone access, privacy and security, no. Bear with me, this is now a technical support stream. Welcome, you have entered the technical support stream. Bluetooth and devices, devices, mm, devices. Cool, my keyboard shows up three different, oh no, I have a, according to this, I have a keyboard and, and two mice. Audio, okay, here we go, here, here we fucking go. Um. Mm? Banana medicine. Uh, is my USB? It's a it's a USB mic. Uh, turn down USB mic gain. Sixty nine viewers. Hell yeah. Anytime I have above like twenty viewers, I'm like, damn. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, especially like we're literally just kind of vibing. Is there a gain knob of the mic itself? There, there is like this, this like up and down arrow. Banana medicine sounds like a hard pass. Okay, uh, manage mm, audio, audio properties. Mm. Manage audio, manage input. Okay, here we go. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, go back, go back. Fuck, go back. Headphones. Why is it reading it as headphones? TR, yeah, those are headphones. Fat Dumpers, thank you for fucking five freaking gift subs. You love to see it. Can't yell directly into my mic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, volume? Yeah, why is it reading it as... Oh, input devices. Listen. Input volume? Here, wait, wait, wait. how's this? How's this? Is this better? And then I'll add some compression back. Proper ease. Uh, advanced audio filters, filters, noise suppression, compressor. I hardly know her. <laughs> but like, I want to be able to talk closely. But father. Wait, wait, wait. So, so is it better? Is it better? Can I talk like right into the mic? It's a bit quiet now. How's this? Spencer's a close talker confirmed. Dude, I I I love in movies uh perfect. Everyone's fucking everyone's saying it's perfect. I love in movies when people talk really close to each other. Like closer like like so fucking close like if you were to talk to someone that close they'd be like get the fuck away from me but i like it when they do it in movies uh 
Also, like, I love in movies when people are constantly sweaty. Like, that's my favorite kind of... Like, I, I rewatched the first... No, sorry, it was my first time seeing it. But the first Fast and Furious... Same with, like, the Transformers movies, but everyone just is, like, shining constantly. Kind of most of the Michael Bay movies are like that. Uh, yes, that's your sweat kink. Uh, it just, to me, it's like, it kind of elevates it. Y you know, it's like, a, you know, because people don't look like that in, are they sweaty in the event? I can, I feel like they have Tony Stark really sweaty in, like, the first Iron Man. Uh, yeah, sweaty close talkers, like, in movies, like, to me, there's something very inherently cinematic about that. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like film grain in a way. Like, it, it separates it from, like, nobody talks that close in reality. Nobody waiting for a period piece if they don't have all the women perfectly groomed. But were women perfectly groomed, uh, like, at least in European, uh, sweaty close talkers, my first time to shine, my time to shine. Uh, uh, like when did when did uh like uh Western nations when did they start normalizing? Okay, sorry, let me, I muted I muted the commercial. Um, let me let me mute it for me because very very distracting. Uh. Um, listen to SK. What is an SK dude? Um, but like, were women not shaving the ar their armpits like in like Victorian England or like shaving their legs? It was about razor profits. So early two thousands Gatorade commercials, exactly. Which like a lot of that was uh was like Michael Bay, like Michael Bay came out of that commercial industry. Big Gillette. Really? I want to read up on it. Y'all are gaslighting me. So World War One, everyone was just hairy as hell. And the music's back. <laughs> Chris, let me highlight this. World War II, I'm Google. World War II women shaving. <laughs> An ugly carnival. Horizontal. Oh, no, this is... This is something totally different. Okay, yeah, that is, uh... That is, that is not... Not what I was thinking. Uh, when did when did women start shaving their legs? Yeah, nineteen forties. Damn, I did not realize it was so recent. Yeah, this guys, this is brought to you by Dollar Shave. No, I will never do a Dollar Shave. I mean, I say that like I have. I mean, if I if given the choice, um. Uh, if given the choice, I would rather not do a Dollar Shave Club because I I use their razors and I was like, this kind of sucks. We started with candles. Yeah, ho hos hosiery production plummeted suddenly in 1941 when the U.S. War Production Board curtailed curtailed silk and nylon stockings manufacturing. In response, American ladies applied decals or liquid stockings, aka leg makeup, to st simulate the seams of stockings atop of shaved legs. Uh, that's insane. Is there full beard shouting out Dollar Shave? Well, I've seen creators do it.
that's where you would get ready with me. Oh my god, it'd be so pathetic in quarantine. It'd be like, well, uh, I'm up. Uh, am I gonna brush my teeth? Depends on how hungry I am. Uh, no, but I did switch, which I actually do need to shave my neck. Uh, I switched to a safety razor. Is that what they're called? Safety razor. Yeah, safety razor. It's awesome. It's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, if you guys... I mean, I don't know. I don't want to espouse the... Because, you know, I don't, I don't have to use it too much. But, like, uh, it's great. It's pretty inexpensive. Uh, and the shave is so close. Like, I, I think we were all, I think we were all duped by, uh, by Big Razor in many ways, uh, in terms of like how many blades, uh, that a razor should have. Like, honestly, one blade, uh, pretty good. It's funny. They're called safety razors. Cause I guess they, that was like for safety. Don't men like shave with the direction of where their hair lays? Uh, yeah, typically, I mean, the only, I haven't shaved, like, I haven't like fully shaved my face in a while. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, I guess I like, I would shave down and like you shave down with the hair. But I don't know, like, I've never shaved my legs or anything like that. Um, who's being duped by what? Spencer Socialist King. No, no, I, I the, don't get it twisted. I'm fucking, I'm the biggest capitalist. Uh, I don't know what word we want to use, but like, I, I, I'd be, I'd be buying shit. Um, shave with the grain. Yeah, I feel like. I wonder what the hardest part of uh, of a human body to shave is. Not to be gross, but I mean, it's got to either be the face or like the, the woman's or, uh, you know, a, a vagina. Sorry to like just throw that word out there. But, you know, it's just it's like the least straightforward. The answer is your own butthole. I mean, I would never even try that. That seems like asking for... Uh, you vulva yeah the scrotum that's an interesting one uh you know i don't want to get too graphic but like uh what's up i never had a little lamp well it's your eyeball um uh the uh, the the scrotum you cannot do uh uh like electric razors on it like you will cut the skin. Could get my stretching rack out for that. But like with the regular razor, um, you know, it's kind of no problems. I need to get my pet turtle a bath. Uh, yeah, that's where I think if I if I were a oh the vagina is the internal. So what's what what do we call the outside? I thought the vagina was kind of just like the whole kit and caboodle. Pubis Mons. I thought that was the the like the kind of the bump. You fully explained that the vulva is the whole kit and caboodle. Is vulva the outside? I thought the Mons pubis was literally just the bump. Labia majora. I just feel like like colloquially, if someone's like, oh, the vagina. Like, 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 no, like, I, I don't know. Do people say like, oh, I gotta go shave my labia. Like, it sounds crazy. Giving strong lady virgin vibes. Mons pubis is a Sith Lord. Dude, that's a fucking tweet. We say pussy. <laughs> we say pussy in this house. 
Clown Boy, see, Clown Boy's on my team. I just feel like, like, you can, like, well, actually, like, about the... You'd be like, well, technically, it's, like, the, the Mons pubis, the... Is the bump vulva just this once? Gotta go shave the cooch. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, I wonder... Vaginacy, yes, exactly. The the properly... Uh, I like, like, I like when you look up, like, the full animal names... Like the like their proper one for gorillas like gorilla gorilla. Don't quote me on that. Can't wait to clip this whole thing. Spencer not understanding the female anatomy for ten minutes. It's just the ussy. Everything down, everything below the gym, is the ussy. Oh my goodness, that's the time. Yeah, we've uh, how many how many viewers have we lost? I think the healthiest thing I ever did was turn off current view count. Hydrate? Hell yeah, I got some Mountain Dew for that. Look, I'm fucking out here drinking Mountain Dew on Twitch. Like, I don't know what a vagina is. Like, apparently I really don't know. Mm, nerdy Ginger. I have news for you, bestie. Uh... I trade by drinking Mountain Dew. Dude, it's good. The Dew hits. Uh, dude, that, that's what I'm... I'm worried if I, like, if I do upload this to YouTube. Like, then it's really there forever. Gorilla Gorilla. <laughs> I back out. Uh, just... I don't know what a vagina is. It's giving John D bad. Look, it wasn't a bit. It's not a bit. I'm gonna, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be taking this to. I'm gonna be taking this outside of stream. I'm gonna be taking this offline and being like, when I say vagina, if I were to refer to that <laughs> as the vagina, like, I'm talking animal vaginas. Are we allowed to do that? One time, I was in London. And the Natural History Museum had a whole animal sex exhibit. It was wild. Hit throws something in. Now let's say hypothetically. Now let's say hypothetically. Uh, just be yourself. Uh, uh, let's now say hypothetically. I were to see your vagina. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't like like it was. Animal, it was like about the like there weren't like animals having sex in the museum but it was like you know it was honestly it was more of like a hallway with like fucking fun facts up there whim on dude i'm so I, i'm surprised more people didn't like my fucking maybe i'll tweet it maybe twitter would like it but the the new uh alex garland movie called uh men um you are John D. Bad. Januna, thank you for the sub. Spencer and is our women real era. Uh no no no. This was the London uh this was the London Museum of Natural History. Uh and this was probably about 20 2013, 2014? Uh yeah, they had a like a an exhibit and it was about watch this chat the first thing is I want to see Virginia. <laughs> Spencer in his cancel air at Wimp Life gives you weapons. Uh, 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 Wenham. That, see, Wenham, uh, Wenham to let there be carnage. That was the first thing I thought of when they were writing Wenham in, uh, on the Discord. Master Cullings. John D. Bed thinks he is. Defoe. If I could morph into an animal, what I choose? Sith Lord Mons Pubis. Uh, what, what do we call an age? Heaven's gonna be. Uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Left eye doesn't even feel good. Oh my god. Uh... Spencer will do better. No, he won't. Blazing Phoenix, hell yeah. Leo is losing his following? Hell yeah. Hold my lanyard. Chandi Bad would have a lanyard. Lanyard vibes. I do have a, I mean, not to be too John D. Bad myself, but I do have a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a thing of, um, like all my con lanyards that I've collected over the years. That's how it's like the commercial says, it gets better. Leo is losing is the working title for uh, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Or Don't Look Up. Johnny Bad is the Shadow of the Chosen. What's up, friendly by named Kai? I don't even know what John D. Bad and Chosen would do. This is so baffling. Uh, if you don't collect your con lanyards, what are you doing? Yeah, dude, I have some, I have some, I have some fucking not to flex. I mean, maybe one day. Well, no, because it won't be anywhere near as cool as like proper, uh, um, not like influence for like industry people. Uh, have I seen the new game Ghostwire Tokyo? Uh, yeah, that's the. It's really. It's the. It's spooky game. Uh, that everyone fell in love with that one lady. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Anything first person, I'm like, yeah, I'm there. And it comes out soon. Which Honey Bad joined no fap. So, Kiana found a subreddit because she was looking through sub uh, subreddit drama, and then uh, there was one called a uh, semen retention. There's a subreddit. It's not no fap. It's semen retention. And it is insane. Uh, we lost Miss Joe. Uh, yeah, it's it's not about like like I'm 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 tempted to dedicate a whole stream to it. I'm surprised it didn't take off, like with this one post. But like, so people are called retainers. Uh. I don't know what no fappers are called. Uh, yeah, so they're called retainers. Uh, and there's people who never orgasm, or I guess they don't come. I don't, I like, un, yeah, it's like it's unvax sperm adjacent. Uh, yeah, so like the, the one post was like this guy. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do like I'm gonna do a stream talking about it. Like we're gonna dive into like the lingo and stuff. Uh, y yeah. So cl no, the 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 guy in the post was like, yeah, like so my dad was a retainer for a while, and I was like, well, that's the funniest sentence I've ever heard. Uh, yeah, the goal is like, you know, it's like a, it's you know, I think it's kind of the same thing as no fap. Uh, not the lifetime etchers. Uh, yeah, it like it like L. I I guess what they think is, so they they. Is it true that if you don't use it, you can lose it? Uh. Oh, yeah, Cynthia, we're talking about retainers. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if it like it it uh like elevates your consciousness or I mean that's like that's what I think they're saying it does in so many words uh yeah they're switching to that, that pre nut or yeah um but yeah also not to get too graphic but like uh I mean the body will like you know nocturnal emissions is that the is that the right wet dreams like your body will just like if you haven't done that for a while, if you've retained for too long, your body will be like, "Well, I'll do it." I'll get Thanos' voice. I'll do it myself. Uh, um, 
let me, let me, I'm just gonna go to the subreddit real fast. Reddit semen retention. <laughs> the fucking, uh, uh, let's see how active it is. Uh, SR is an ancient practice used by a small percentage of the male population worldwide. SR provides many benefits that are extremely useful to men regardless of your age, social, or financial situation. The purpose of this sub is to discuss the physical and spiritual benefits of retaining. No fat posts will not be tolerated and is an instant ban. Good luck, brothers. Spilling. <laughs> Spilling. I mean, it seems like... Okay, like the top post right now is... Uh, the SR journey is unreal. Um, so I would simply delete Tinder. Uh, the shit changed my life. Confidence is my favorite benefit. Self-improvement. A female attraction. I go to a bodybuilding gym and I a lot of the IG booty models be given out IOI 101. <sighs> oh my god. Uh okay, this there's already so much to unpack in this one post, and I, I do truly want to save this. Cause they have I'm already seeing I'm already seeing uh fucking lingo in there uh wd is what they say for wet dream the con haters think of your energy as a fire the more disciplines you complete the bigger your flame you'll be rewarded with what is want to reap through benefits of sr cold showers eight hours of sleep meditation q i g o n g I don't know how to say that. Getting sun, drinking a gallon of water every day, staying away from toxic people. Dude, uh, I hate to like, I I feel like, uh, uh, I feel like just eight hours of sleep and meditation and getting sun and drinking water. Like you, you don't, you can, you can still jerk, jerk off and, and do that. And like, you're, you're good. Uh, I think they're saying like those like if you want to reap the benefits of semen retention, you should do those things too. But it's like, why don't you why don't you just fucking do those? Like, literally just drink water, my guy. Oh, Leo was losing. Uh, guys, update on the review. Still great. Like, granted, it's very watered down now, and I only drank. Oh god, yeah, like the the water or the <laughs> the water level, the dew level is like here. Uh, Romeo and Julia, but no faps and retainers. Holy shit. Uh, uh, it's like fasting, and that it doesn't count if the sun's down. <laughs> yeah, it's reverse vampirism. Spoke of semen, then showed me the glass. Who's to say it's a Mountain Dew? Uh, guys, I was watching. Oh, look, I'll pivot and I'll talk about the Try Guys for a bit. Uh, I was watching. I was researching. Uh, for honestly, just kind of like s smosh stuff. Uh, you know, like ideas. Like you know, you you want to uh. A blaster. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. Blaster is such a funny word. Uh, researching bullying material. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I don't know. You don't want the content to go stale. Yeah, you, you stay up to date. You want to stay up to... Well, someone mentioned a Try Guys, and and, uh, and so I, I decided to look and, you know, see what the hubbub was about. And just, like, truly, like... I don't know, like, like pretty normal, uh, uh, I was just, it was literally just like this stream was like them eating McDonald's and they got like, it was like a million plus views. 
I was like, okay, so I literally learned nothing from watching this. <laughs> I was like, oh, like maybe there's like some fucking secret. I mean, it, it's just them. Like, I guess that's ultimately what content is at the end of the day. Like, it's, it's not. Uh, I'm just I'm musing on like what, what makes YouTube content, and I think once you, not the content doesn't matter, but you know if you find. Uh, you know people you vibe with online then like you'll kind of you'll kind of watch them do anything but i guess that's like it's kind of like what friendship is yeah the appeal is them uh but i'm sure i'm sure they've done uh oh that was another thing i saw them doing the high versus drunk and i like i not to be like oh from a producer standpoint but like truly i wonder what the logistics of that are like like how do you uh <laughs> uh uh what is it that the contents are essays um but like how how do they like how do they get them drunk for for the spelling bee or whatever like there are they like okay like pound these uh like pound these shots and you like go 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 smoke this and then like come back but i feel like from a production standpoint it's like okay like the clock's ticking like unless they're like constantly drinking or constantly smoking like oh they do talk about logistics yeah because i think that's the biggest uh He was drunk on two drinks. <laughs> Did I say heroin was a great time? They're constantly drinking. Okay, okay. See now I'm now I'm doxing myself. I didn't get that far in the video. I can't get over the one guy's shorts. Uh Yeah, we're doing we're doing we've been on our once a once a week shit for a bit. Do we take last week off? No, we played Katamari last week. Oh, I said smart hair was a great time on. I was a joke. No, no, I, I, cause I said heroin was the thing that kills uh, the to be wearing shorts in that video. Uh, heroin's what kills Jane, right? In Breaking Bad, spoilers. Any of the drugs they do in Breaking Bad, like it, honestly, probably pretty bad for you. Is that not what she dies from? Oh, now I'm looking it up. Jane, uh, Jane Mar Margolis. Also, Walter White is there. <laughs> Zoe. Uh, yes, uh, okay. Jane died of a heroin overdose while living with Jesse. Can you overdose on, a? Meth? I mean, pro probably. Oh, I forgot when Jane dies. It's the first time you, uh... That's the first time you, you, uh... You meet, um... What's his face? Uh... Why can't I think of his fucking name? I'm sure it says on the Wikipedia. Uh... Blah, 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 Jane, Jesse, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Mike, Mike Ehrman Trout. You could overdose some milk, bro. Milkus. Uh. How did I remember her last name? Uh. Why did I remember it? Oh, cause uh, cause the actor who plays her dad, I want to say, has. Can you overdose on that, bro? Come on now. Uh, I remember Mike Airman Trout's name because I mean, how can you forget that last name? Uh, Jane Margolis. Uh, I don't know. Like, I want to say like the actor or like one of the actors on the show has that last name. Donald Margolis. I'm good. Yeah, so the actor who plays her dad has uh, her actual last name, which is wild. And I guess it's not that wild. 
Raging Bull, if I could convince you to watch anything, uh, on it, Breaking Bad's incredible. Uh, yeah, all the Jayton stuff is season two. And there's like, what, six seasons? Uh, yeah, Breaking Bad, best show of all time. I mean, lots of shows I haven't seen. I'll take White Boy Bangers for 400. Dude, it is. It's fucking good. Like, it's got, uh, uh, it's, it's got everything. Like 10 times. Holy shit. Okay. That's, that's fan behavior. Breaking Bad's like, it's like, I thought it was six seasons or it's like season five and then like five part two, right? Seasons. We have one, two, three, four, five, a five B. Raging Bull, highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it's 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 incredible. Like best acting performances, best. Oh yeah, five seasons in a movie. Yeah, I forget about the movie. The movie was unnecessary, but I still liked it. Uh, the fuck are Squishmallows? What the fuck did you just say to me? I'm just kidding. Uh. I mean, sure. If I if I if I tried them, I'll do. Look, I'll do a tier list of anything. Uh, Squishmallows. Yeah, guys. Everyone. Everyone, go watch Breaking Bad. Like, why are you as a man not watching Breaking Bad? Troy looks too much like my dad. Uh, Jen's Jen's dad confirmed is hot. Oh, these these are cute. I mean, it's giving beanie babies for sure. Oh, I just burped. Oh my god, fucking embarrassing. Twenty five. Oh, Carla, it like literally Breaking Bad. It's like it's just it gets better and better. Last season was insane, dude. Last episode is insane. I fucking he posed for Twitter screenshot screenshot. 10 times better than Beanie Babies. I'm sure that's what the Beanie Babies people were saying. And they were like, oh, isn't this just like, I don't know, Cabbage Patch Kids? Are like, this is 10 times better than Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, Ozymandias? So fucking good. Uh, favorite part of Breaking Bad? I mean, Ozymandias. It's a pretty fucking incredible episode. That's probably the best, like, in a vacuum. Uh, not in a vacuum, but like, Talk about like an incredible episode of TV that like I I don't want to watch again. The Fly, same director as uh whatever uh Ozymandias. Yeah, it's always on their Benji button and shit. Well, Left Foot Lloyd, without spoiling it, Ozymandias is the episode. Uh, uh, what can I say without spoiling? It's the one where the it's the one where Hank falling to his knees is from, or not Hank. Uh, it's the it's what the meme is. Uh, the meme of Walter White falling to his knees is from, which like talk about an incredible scene that's been memed to death. Uh, that's always the, like that's kind of what not our culture has done, but like you know almost the more like emotionally intense a show or a part of something is like the more likely it is to be memed like uh cassie in the bathtub and euphoria i don't watch the show but i heard that scene was like very intense and of course like the next day everywhere yeah we meme to cope uh absolutely uh no osmandius i don't think it's no the second to last episode is the one where he uh well again i don't want to spoil but walter white's out of town He's like in fucking Canada or some shit. Uh, yeah, like checks for his, yeah, like a horrifying last image in a movie. And it's like truly just been like kind of, just kind of memed or like a lot of the stuff in, uh, 
in uh in hereditary uh like her watching her husband on fire like i would see that picture of me and i'm like shit was scary chet what is up walter white is out of office guys oh 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 okay i'm looking at the squish mellow squish mellow uh the cow one is pretty cute how white boys <laughs> watching uncut gems I never finished Uncut Gems. I don't remember what happened. Uh, I watched the first like 20 minutes. I was like, this is great. And then I, and then I turned it off. Uh, uh, Beaver Boys, like from Tim and Eric? Oh, I know those. I know those boys well. Wait, what movie sucks? Oh, Uncut Gem sucks. Yeah, Zoe is, Zoe's about to fucking throw hands. Uh, I mean, it looks like... It seemed like a really good movie. What I was what I was watching, I was like, this is, this is good. Uh, Damn, I gotta, I gotta, I guess I gotta finish Uncut Gems. See what, see what all the, the, the hubbub and the hoopla is about. Negative and otherwise. <laughs> mod fight, mod fight. Uh, Midsummer. uh, Midsummer was a hit animist for me. <laughs> Humble, thank you for being here. And the memes that came out of Uncut Gems, like, you cannot deny the incredibleness of those memes. Midsummer was a, it was like a, a seven, seven out of ten for me. Or as, uh, maybe six and a half. Uh... Oh, yeah, the Midsummer meme of her walking and crying. Like, another meme that's, like, super, like, emotional and, like, like, fucking, like, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh... Uh... Sorry, I'm so scattered. Uh... But Midsummer, I think it's absolutely wa uh, worth a watch. Um, if you, if you like horror, if you don't like horror, don't fucking watch it. Um, are we getting a commercial? Or is, it, or is this just the new vibe of the music? Uh, yeah, no, so many, so much messed up, so many, so much many messed up things. In, uh, in Midsummer, a good, good horror movie, or good good horror in the movie, but like, uh, yeah, uh, but I mean, Hereditary is absolutely a ten out of ten, in my opinion. Ari Aster, it, like, absolutely, something's wrong with that guy. Like, God bless him. Something's wrong with his imagination. Maybe he's a normal enough guy. Uh. But yeah, oh, I mean, I think he's, he's fucking a genius. Uh, you know, and I can't wait for whatever he fucking does next. <laughs> See, Source of Predators, I remember that having a cool trailer. It had the uh, it had the Depeche Mode song uh, in it. Yeah, I'm Astro Build. I need to watch... Uh, Mandy I wasn't a big fan of. Mandy I think had some fun visuals and there were some good like the when all the shit starts like breaking loose then I was like okay like this is pretty good like when you when Nick Cage is like trapped in the house with the guy uh I was like this is this is getting batty uh but like I didn't like like the first like whole while like it seemed and I didn't like like kind of the maze element at the end. I was like this is this not 
It's not hitting. Uh, Robert Eggers. I did. I did watch that. Uh, you know it's fucking great. Uh, um. Yeah. This. I, this. Um, let me skip this song. I don't like this one. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start it over from that playlist we were. Yeah. This was. This was a. Uh, Scubert Dubert on Zombie Island, incredible movie. Like, honestly, unironically, a great, a great movie. Um, but, uh, yeah, the witch, the witch, uh, it was mid. It was mid to me. Great atmosphere. I would like to live deliciously. Like, incredible line. Great performances. But, like, the actual, like, horror element of it, like, did not, was not hidden for me. Uh... But like, very very talented filmmaker. Uh, and then the lighthouse I liked more, but the recommended watch is the fucking uh, honestly like dare I say one of the best ones of those. But the uh, the what's his face? Uh, yeah, we stand Black Phillip on this channel. Um. Robert Pattinson's like going back through his older roles was an incredible videos, an incredible video. Air time again. Who who sang? Was that a? That was in some forty one. Uh, terror time again. Sky cycle. The, yeah, literally never, never heard of these men. Sky Cycle. Dave Isaacs. I don't know this man. Is he in video games now? No, 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 that's not right. Mm. Yeah, Terror Time Again is a banger. Who sings the Scooby-Doo theme song in that one? Hey, Contraman, there's a, Annabelle was showing it to me. Was it Simple Plan who sings that one? Or was that, that feels like, like, uh... Was it actually Simple Plan? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I really don't know if it was Simple Plan. I feel like that might have been one of the things. Scooby Doo Zombie Island theme song. Yeah, they did it though for What's New Scooby Doo, but who does the. When they're in the castle. And they're running through the... Oh, it's Third Eye Blind? Or is it... No, no, no. I don't think it's Third Eye Blind. Scooby-Doo and Zombie on here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Songs? Oh. Full credits, opening credits, song. Scooby-Doo. Yeah, performed by Third Eye Blind. So Third Eye Blind does the Scooby-Doo and Zombie Island Scooby-Doo theme song. Uh, Velma's surname was revealed in the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries Happy Days. Velma, good old Velma Dinkley. Yeah, no, I always loved like the old chase music. So integral to, uh, oh, oh, sorry, Kid Contraband. What I was saying, uh, there is a, there's a whole Scooby-Doo new show or like new ish but like so many fucking guests there's a, it, like each episode is built around a guest star like the one i saw was them and steve buscemi i was like this is, this is weird as shit uh who the fuck are these guys? can i send me a picture of two two action figures from the fresh squad i don't know i don't know these guys 
So we do guess who, yeah. Uh, uh, the Hex Girls with the, the girl from... What band was she in? But yeah, like so, like people are, people are always like, oh, like the Scooby Doo live action movies. Oh, it was from Home Goods. Uh, the uh, some Alley Baby, Scooby Doo X Hunter. Uh, the Scooby Doo live action movies. People are always like, oh, like oh, like they're so funny. Like no, I think they fundamentally miss. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on my fucking soapbox. I think they fundamentally miss the spirit and the atmosphere of like classic Scooby-Doo. And for that reason, it's a no for me, dog. Like absolutely like they they don't do the yeah, the Scoobert Dubert cinematic universe. Uh Yeah, no, they become like kind of like goofy uh Shaggy's a blaster, I'll have you know. Uh <laughs> Uh also Matthew Lillard, like I I I love his uh I love his performances and scream and stuff like that. Oh, I think I think the cast is like fun. Like don't get me wrong, like I think I think like the casting was good. Uh I think the movies themselves are not good. That's infuriating me. Guys, Matthew Lillard, uh, he's into NFTs. You know what? Just dropping that out there. Agent Juliet, thank you for the follow. I I I unironically think you that a CW uh, like Scooby Doo could do. Oh my God, that's <laughs> like, I was like, who the fuck is asking me to raid them? Uh, Scooby Doo. Uh, I don't even. I'm so excited to see, fucking see everyone. Go follow Kevin. We're we're gonna raid Kevin soon. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I think I think a Scoober Duber CW could uh I was banned this message would capture the spirit more than uh more than the the movies did. Cause the movies are like this weird, like they're very James Gunn, like they're very like haha, like Shaggy smokes weed, like uh like the whole like body so like it's very like of that era and like to me like i have no i like very little nostalgia for like that era whereas like not to be like i think you guys are younger uh but so it like kind of makes sense because i was like i was a little too old for the scooby-doo live action movies and I'm also I'm a fucking diehard for the original I'm um, for the original cartoon. I've got a fucking uh I forget that I like you. Uh Yeah, so for that's like honestly like the perfect age for that cuz it's like a fun like edgy We're all too old for Scooby Doo movies. Uh There's a pup named Scooby Doo movie. I didn't. I didn't really like Pup Name Scooby Doo. Uh, yeah. I. 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 I kind of want to articulate this better, but I think there is like almost a sincerity in Riverdale that would translate to Scooby. Like, cause like people are, like when scary things are happening, people are afraid. Uh. Like they're playing it straight, um, and I don't think the, I think the Scooby Doo live action movies did not play it straight enough. Like they're not like, they're way too self aware, and to me like there's, there is a true sincerity in the old Scooby Doo, uh, uh, cartoon. 
cartoons. Yeah, I, I only I've only seen seasons one and two of of Riverdale. But like the people in Riverdale, like in the show, are like the what's happening is ridiculous. But people are treating it with gravity. When the scary things that people are having, people are scared. I cook it a pizza. Uh, like I to me the best. Yes, what's happening in Riverdale is scary. It is silly. Sorry, but like the way people are reacting. is sincere i'm feeling so sad now uh but like if you want like a true good like the one that kind of has his cake and eats it too in a way like in terms of being like there's a little like self-awareness in they like they play with the tropes in uh in scooby-doo and zombie island but they still like adhere to them like it's still like in like inherently about scary ghosts uh in this essay i will have i have i have I lost entirely everyone who was watching me until this point i because i could fucking go on uh too many team plays i went singing old pop songs is scary uh also i think the cast might have been a little too old for uh uh for the scooby-doo live action dude you'll never know the epic highs and lows of high school football like that's a fucking iconic line do we have time to do the bat doodle? I feel like, sorry, but I feel like we should delay it again so we can raid Kevin, get there, get that raid in. Don't hit me with the man. Is Kevin, is Kevin streaming yet? streaming oh he's playing dying light fuck but i could i but i can drop it i can jump in and play dying light no well, you know i'm fucking good for it you know i'm fucking good for it i'm doing it i'm doing it. i'm doing rating new game plus Uh, if you like Scooby Doo, you're in a back home with Logan Transphobic. There you go. Let's let's raid. I don't think I'm gonna stream my gameplay, but I I do want to fucking pop in to Kevin's. Sh I was gonna say I want to pop into Kevin's shit, but like, uh, I want to pop into that stream of C. Uh, like I'm just saying, Timothy Chalamet is Shaggy. I'm waiting for Hollywood to call me right now. Hollywood's like, yeah, we we heard. Can you tell me you're AJ? You're a Mountain Dew connoisseur. Hmm. Timothy Chalamet has Scooby. Look, am I salty just because I never got the chance to direct a live action Scooby Doo movie? Absolutely. And on that note. Let's go raid our favorite royalty, Kevin. Did that work? Timothy Shalamusi. Guys, great stream. Thank you for thank you for bearing with me. Let's get this shit. <laughs> 